Hey y'all, it's Nasha here and welcome to today's video. First things first, I did do mini braids and I added these cute little beads on the ends. No, I did not film a video because I actually did this exact same style with different beads two years ago back in 2020. So I, and I did film a video on that. So if you're interested, I'll go ahead and leave it up in the cards for you. Yes, it took me forever. I've had these in for about a week now. And I'll probably have them in for maybe like four more days and then I need to take them out because I got some new goodies to review for y'all. I've been loving, loving, loving these mini braids, y'all. In today's video, I'm going to do a hauled it, but how was it? So I've hauled a lot of skincare and body care items and I feel like it's important to come back and let you all know how those uh, skincare products and body care products have been working for me, especially because I know uh, I have influenced a lot of you all to try it. And also a lot of you all have influenced me to try some things and I bet y'all are, you know, maybe curious as to whether I liked your recommendation or not. So we're gonna go through all of the new stuff that I've tried. Not necessarily old stuff that I've repurchased all new stuff that I've tried basically all the crap that I bought I've done three Sephora hauls since that fall Sephora VIB sale yeah I've done three Sephora hauls Ooh, I think I've done four because I also did y'all I've just been spending ridiculous amounts of money at Sephora and I'm just gonna share my thoughts on all of these products first before we get into this video if you haven't done so already go ahead and hit that subscribe button and while you're at it hit that notification bell I post new videos usually twice a week when I'm on schedule so if you're subscribed you don't hit that notification bell then you won't miss another upload from me so let's just go ahead and hop into all of these goodies whether I liked them, whether I hated them, whether I loved them, I'll let you know all of the tea, okay? So I think first we're going to get into cleansers. So I have been talking about raving, been killing this Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melts Away Cleansing Balm. I love this stuff, absolutely love it. It does a great job at my first cleanse when I have a face full of makeup or when I have I don't know, I just feel like I need some extra help in cleansing my face. This is what I go to. As y'all can see, I've used quite a bit of this stuff. I am almost out of this. I also have a mini that I use for traveling as well. And I do like this, but however, I will not be repurchasing this version of it because I am really trying to be on top of my skincare. And so I've been watching this doctor named uh, Vanita Rattan, I think, and she uh, specializes in skin of color. I've talked about her in previous videos. And so she has three things that skincare should not include for people of color for melanated skin. One is alcohols, two is fragrance, Three is essential oils, and unfortunately this does have fragrance in it. For that, I'm kind of sad, but you know, I went ahead, already purchased this. It's already been past the um, the window of returning it, so mama ain't raised no fool. I'm gonna go ahead and use this up and not waste my, my money. And then luckily, Pharmacy does have a fragrance-free version of this. So that's the one that I will be picking up, and they also have a mini size as well, so. Love this, don't like the fragrance in it, so I am going to just replace it with the fragrance-free version of it, but I mean, if y'all don't care, although you should care, but if you don't care about fragrance, even though it's not good for melanated skin regardless, whether it's at the top of the list of ingredients or the bottom, but if you don't care, <laughs> This is good, but I do definitely suggest getting the fragrance-free version of this. The next cleanser that I wanna talk about, which y'all can tell that I have been killing because I'm way down here, this is the Kale and Green Teen Spinach Vitamins Superfood Cleanser. I really do like this stuff. It is a nice, gentle cleanse on my skin. It gets rid of all of the dirt, the grime, the makeup, everything. This also does have fragrance in it. 
So for that reason, I won't be repurchasing this, but I did like it. I also will say that this is more so for combination oily skin. Um, one of my friends, she tried this out and she has dry skin. She didn't like it because it dried her skin out even more. So if you have dry skin, this probably is not the best cleanser for you. But if you have um, combination oily skin and again, you don't care about fragrance, then this is a good cleanser. And I will say fragrance is more towards the end of the list of ingredients, but still, I'm not doing fragrance for myself. Although I have enjoyed this, I won't be repurchasing this, unfortunately. And speaking of cleansers with fragrance, I have the Fresh Sugar Strawberry Exfoliating Face Wash. I have the little like travel mini size of this. This has kind of like the perfect size little be exfoliating beads. There's a cleanser that I love that I'm about to mention to you all that has beads in it, but to me they're kind of almost non-existent because I don't really feel like much of an exfoliation. This does have, I would say, bigger beads. I don't know, just more beads that you can feel. You can actually feel the exfoliation, but it's not harsh like some of these other exfoliators can be. I really do like this, but it has fragrance. It has strawberry in it. It smells so good, y'all. So once I use this up, I unfortunately will not be repurchasing this. I will say that Dr. V did mention that for skincare that is going to be washed away from your face so like cleansers having fragrance in it isn't that bad because it is something that you wash away versus like a cream or a serum or a toner that's going to stay on your skin but i just don't want to risk it um, basically what fragrance does is it can sensitize your skin over time so you may not be sensitive to fragrance right now but over time if you keep using it especially heavily scented items it can make your skin sensitive and also it's the number one cause of skin dermatitis, I believe. That's just basically like bumps and rashes, um, almost kind of like eczema on your face. And I don't want that, so I'm just, I'm just staying away from fragrance. So the cleanser that I do like, that I will be repurchasing because it is fragrance free, I'm pretty sure it's fragrance free. And that is from Tatcha. It is the Deep Cleanse Gentle Exfoliating Cleanser. So that one is the cleanser that I'm saying that it really don't be exfoliating nothing. The beads are almost non-existent to me. But take away the not really exfoliating my skin. It is a great gentle cleanser. It is perfect for a combination oily skin, which is what I have and a little bit goes a long way. That big tube lasted me a really long time. It is more on the expensive side, which is why I haven't repurchased it just yet, but I do like it. Definitely wanna repurchase it. My skin loved it. My skin loved all of these cleansers, but because they have fragrance in it, I just have to quit using some of these things. Next, we're gonna move into toners. I've only been trying one new toner, and this is from Pharmacy. This is the Deep Sweep Toner. It's 2% BHH Pore Cleansing Toner with Moringa and Papaya. This is the Nafe Safe, the No Alcohols, Fragrance, and Essential Oils. And I learned, thanks to my girl, Tress of Alexis, that BHA is salicylic acid. I think in my haul, I said that this didn't have any salicylic acid, but it does. Y'all, I've used more than half of this bad boy. Y'all, my skin absolutely loves this toner. It does say that it may sting a little bit on your face, and I have had toners that do sting a little bit on your face. Like, I was using the Thayer's Witch Hazel um, toner. That one did sting a little bit, especially if I really got in and exfoliated my skin, but I have yet to feel any sort of stinging or uncomfortable feeling on my face. With this, it just goes on very gentle. It helps to get rid of any other remaining remnants of like makeup that I have on my face. It helps to unclog my pores. My uh, pores on my nose get really clogged up if I don't use something with salicylic acid. And this has been doing the job of unclogging my pores, y'all. Like, I love this. I have another toner. It's like an exfoliating toner from Youth to the People that I hauled that I haven't tried yet that I definitely 
definitely want to try out but so far I've been loving this and I definitely want to repurchase this once I use this up. Next we're gonna get into serums and moisturizers. So I don't have it with me because I used up the whole little mini kit, but I did pick up a little kit from Glow Recipe and it had the wa watermelon niacinamide um, dew drops and then the watermelon pink juice oil free moisturizer. My skin loved both of them. My skin was super plump, super moisturized, but the thing about Glow Recipe is that Glow Recipe has fragrance in it, which it makes the product smell so good. Like that watermelon on my on my skin just it just smelled so good. But again, fragrance is not that great for your skin, so I will not be repurchasing those. I really want Glow Recipe to make some fragrance-free products because other than the fragrance, their products have amazing ingredients for your skin, and my skin really loved it. But the, the fragrance, it's gotta go. <laughs> like, so Glow Recipe, y'all probably not gonna watch this video, but... Please make some fragrance-free products for us girls that don't want to use fragrance in our products. Please and thank you. I did absolutely love that toner, not toner. I did absolutely love that serum and that moisturizer, but I won't be repurchasing. So obviously I've been loving Youth to the People. I have been using this Adaptogen Dream Moisture Cream. I don't think I hauled this the first time on my channel. It was something that I just randomly bought because I had used up the Glow Recipe Kit with the serum and the moisturizer. And like I said, I wasn't gonna repurchase them. So I was like, okay, I need something that is fragrance free. Now this bad boy is very expensive. The most expensive moisturizer that I've ever purchased in my life. This is, I believe, $58. But it has ashwagandha and reishi uh, pentapeptide. My skin absolutely loves this, okay? It makes my skin nice and moisturized. It doesn't break me out. It doesn't make me too oily, which is really interesting because this is definitely a cream. I know for oily skin, it is recommended to use the gel creams because they're moisturizing without being oily and sometimes creams can be really heavy, but this one is not a heavy cream at all. Um, although I have been using this like fall winters when I got it. It is really hot right now and <laughs> super hot here and humid here and so far this hasn't made me oily. I really love this. We'll be repurchasing this. Obviously I've already repurchased this one time before so if you are looking for a good moisturizer and you don't mind paying the money I highly highly recommend this. Next we're gonna talk about this Kiehl's creamy eye treatment with avocado. So I used to be really big into using eye creams and then I really slacked for a while on my skincare. Now we back on the skincare kick. So I had to pick this up. This is like a cult favorite and I really do like it. My under eye be glistening when I put this on and I really feel like my under eye area really absorbs this. This is Nafe Safe. Again, no alcohols, no fragrance, and no essential oils. My only thing is that, y'all, like, this is never ending. Okay, I've used a decent little bit of it. I've used a decent little bit of it, but there's still a lot of product to go. And unlike a lot of other skincare products, this says that after six months, it's bad <laughs> that it expires. And so I'm pretty sure I'm about to be at that six month mark. Ain't no way in one month I'm gonna be able to finish this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get the like travel size and keep repurchasing that. Especially like literally two people would have to use this twice a day, every day, faithfully, consistently in order to get rid of this within six months. So I do like this, I do recommend this, but definitely if you don't want your product to expire before you use it up, get the um, small like travel size of this. Next, I wanna get into some sunscreens that I've purchased that I've been using and letting y'all know my thoughts. So I purchased two things from Supergoop. The first thing I bought is this little travel size of the Unseen Sunscreen SPF 40. Um, and it has the PA++ water and sweat resistant for 40 minutes. And I got the little mini size, like I said, and I'm almost done with this. Unfortunately, I will not be repurchasing this because it has frankincense, 
I think that's that's how you pronounce it but basically that's fragrance and we don't do fragrance over here <laughs> but other than that y'all y'all can see that a lot of stuff has fragrance like a bunch of skincare has fragrance in it I did love this I was using this just by itself just to make sure that I had SPF on I use this under makeup it's a great base as well it doesn't make me oily it doesn't clog my pores or anything like that so I do recommend this besides the fragrance I just wish they would make a fragrance free version of this because it's really good and it's a chemical sunscreen so it's not a mineral sunscreen and I do try to lean more towards on the mineral mineral sunscreens but at the end of the day sunscreen is sunscreen is sunscreen you need to protect your skin whether it be a chemical sunscreen or a physical sunscreen you need to protect your skin next we have the super goop resetting 100% mineral powder this uh, has a SPF of 35 a PA plus 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 it comes in like three or four different colors I have the dark color I don't know if y'all can see that but I really do like this this is great to set your makeup with or just to set your sunscreen with uh, just to reapply throughout the day because especially if you have on makeup so let's say I went in with this unseen sunscreen put my makeup on top I'm not about to put this on top of my makeup because you are supposed to be reapplying your sunscreen because it does kind of lose its effect after usually like 80 minutes, 2 hours. With this, I can reapply this throughout the day. It also helps to set my makeup. Does it make me oily? Does it make me look cakey? Does it make me look ghostly? This deep color is great for my skin tone. And I just love this. I really do. The only thing is it's really hard to control the product coming out. Sometimes I'm like, is any product coming out at all? And then sometimes I feel like a little bit too much product comes out. But I think what I'm going to do, because I think you can buy the, like, the refillable powder. So basically this detaches and instead of buying a whole new tube you can keep the same brush and you just um, buy the refillable powder I think I might just like decant this into another jar and just use like a regular makeup brush and just go in with a powder and set my face and use it that way because it is very difficult to like control what comes out of this but other than that I really do love this and highly recommend this the last sunscreen item that I have been loving is from Tower 28. This is a sunscreen that has tint. This is their Sunny Days Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Tinted Sunscreen. And I have this in the color 63rd Street. I actually did do like a dedicated video on this in review as far as, you know, the color match. Do I have like a ghostly cast that a lot of mineral sunscreens tend to leave on me and also just wearing this with makeup um, because I feel like this could be like a replacement for your foundation so if you want to check out that video go ahead it, it'll be linked up in the cards and also in the description box but yes y'all I freaking love this these two are definitely like my go-to especially for work because I don't really put on a lot of makeup I really don't wear a lot of makeup I wear makeup for videos because I bought it and I need to use it and I wear makeup when I'm like going and hanging out with my friends on the weekends like we're doing like dinners or different things like that or just when I want to look cute you know I'll wear makeup but for the most part I don't really and especially not to work because sis be trying to use that extra 15 30 minutes to sleep rather than to get up and put on makeup definitely a great little duo for you so the next two products are more of kind of like body care or like body items more so than skincare so the first thing i want to mention is from keys soul care which is alicia keys's like skincare body care line that you can find at ulta the thing that i absolutely love and have been killing is their Keys Soul Care Body Oil. Y'all, that stuff is so good. It smells so good. I've already gone through two bottles and I need to go ahead and order a third bottle. I threw it away, I should have saved it. 
but as you can see here's a little picture of it here absolutely love 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 that body oil as soon as i get out the shower i put a little bit on my hands and just work it into my skin my skin is nice and moisturized I'm really locking in the moisture from the shower, the water from the shower into my skin. And then I'll go on top with a little bit of body butter. And your girl is not ashy. Your girl is glistening. My skin is glistening. My legs are glistening. I don't have no cracked heels on my feet or any crests or nothing like that. I love that. I literally drench my body head to toe in that oil. Okay, maybe not head to toe. Like here down i drench my body in that oil it is so good i love it chef's kiss it's so good and then i want to mention i didn't haul this but it is something that i've pick, picked up recently i was watching the glam twins video they had mentioned this fragrance and i went into sephora smelling another fragrance didn't really like it then went and smelled this and was obsessed and i was like girl you just bought a bunch of fragrances you can wait then i was like no why don't you just get the little mini this is the nest golden nectar et, et de parfum my boyfriend taught me how to say this and i feel like i'm still saying this wrong but y'all this smells so good i don't want to mess up the notes so let me go ahead and look up the notes for you all so the fragrance family is florals which typically i'm not a floral girl but this one is the exception it is a warm floral and i think that's why i like it the key notes are golden orchid amber and musk so it says, this floral gourmand, I really feel like I like gourmand fragrances, but this floral gourmand fragrance blends the warmth of golden orchid and suede amber with notes of creamy vanilla and velvety musk to create a seductive symphony for the senses. With its irresistible aroma, golden nectar captures the essence of this ultimate seduction. This to me definitely, definitely smells like spring, summer but like nighttime i don't really wear this in the daytime and i love this i think this is like their newest fragrance that they've come out with so y'all definitely check this out as soon as i run out of this well maybe not as soon as it i run out of this i'm gonna try to hold off into the next sephora sale which is gonna be way in november to purchase this I, but I might have to just go ahead and purchase it before. It's so good, y'all. I am super picky with my scents. Majority of the stuff that is popular that people love, I don't love. But this one smells really good. So definitely check that out. So I have two things that I absolutely hate. Hid. Okay. Both of these products just broke me out. And in fact, I'm still recovering from a breakout from one of the products. I don't know I think it's on this side I don't know if y'all can see like this bump that I have on my face it has gotten flat it is trying to go away but it's been like three weeks since I used that product and my skill my skin is still suffering from it the first is from the ordinary it is their hyaluronic acid serum 2% plus b5 and I picked it up because it had great reviews on Ulta's website. Sephora also sells The Ordinary, it had great reviews there. A lot of people told me that they love this stuff. One of my best friends uses it. But y'all, that thing broke me out so bad. And luckily for me, when I use new skincare, I introduce new things one at a time so that I can identify if my skin starts to act up, what is causing the act, the the craziness okay that thing broke me out so bad just all over my cheeks all over my chin it was just it was horrible luckily those breakouts didn't leave a lot of dark marks but still i just had to give it away so i don't have it in my possession i gave it away to my friend that actually really does like it and it works for her skin i don't know what my skin didn't like about that because I'm pretty sure that I've used products with hyaluronic acid and it's only 2% so it's not like it's a high percentage. I don't know but my skin just did not like that so that is a no for me. The second thing I want to mention is from Tatcha. It is their clarifying and exfoliating clay mask I believe. 
it, something like that but y'all I was so excited to get this this is one of the items that I was afraid that was going to sell out during the VIB sale but I was able to get my hands on it and I tried it and you know the first time I tried it it felt really good on my skin I felt like my skin looked really nice after using it but then I noticed a couple of days after using it that my skin was again breaking out I had a lot of pimples on my cheeks and I'm like what is going on I didn't think it was the clay mask I was thinking you know hey it's kind of been a while since you um <laughs> washed your pillows case I know that's nasty but you know I'm being very transparent on here it's been a while since you washed your pillowcase it probably was that also I'm notorious for waiting forever to wash my makeup brushes so I'm like it probably was that then I realized after I washed my brushes washed my pillowcase and all of that stuff I went and used the clay mask again to get rid of the pimples and I saw that it got worse and I was like oh, it's the mask it is the mask so I stopped using the mask and my skin began to clear up and so I was just like Mm -mm, this thing costs too much money I am taking this thing right on back and I definitely got my money back quick fast and in a hurry I was not playing any games with that so um, it's funny because Curly Chris here on YouTube she has been raving about it and her skin looks really good when she uses it but for whatever reason something in it my skin does not like and so we took it back and I obviously will not be repurchasing but that is it y'all for all of my skincare body care items that I have hauled I wanted to just let y'all know what I liked what I didn't like what I will be repurchasing what I'm gonna pass on um, if you have any recommendations on things that you've really been loving especially vitamin C serums let me know if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and as always I'm so grateful and thankful for each and every one of y'all watching and I will see y'all in the next video Bye.